Hey everybody, happy Monday morning. It is Monday, August 28th. It's 10 a.m. Central Time. Welcome if you're here live with me on the page, The Comfy Nest with Grace. I appreciate you guys being here. Um, today, I'm gonna finish up this project. We gotta finish the cover. And I may add some dangles here on the side. So that's another thing that we'll be doing. Um, and then today, the rest of the day, I'm gonna be filling those orders from that a flash sale that I had in the VIP Chalk Couture group. So, a busy day ahead. Um, I hope you can join me. I'm just gonna make sure the feed is running fine before I get going so that I make sure nobody misses out on anything fun because that would stink. Okay, yeah, it's working, it's working. Although, you guys are sideways. That's not the intent. Hold on, girls. We're gonna move this. So this makes me realize Facebook's gonna be a little wonky today. So I'll beware, <laughs> I'll beware. I think maybe I'll even drop you down. Is that better? Good gravy, sorry about that girls. Hey Missy, two Missies are here. Missy Harrington, Missy McComb, Tita, hello, hello. Hey Sparky, welcome, welcome. All right, we're gonna finish this baby up. I'm gonna do a live auction on Saturday morning. This will be in the auction. So if you love this book and you wanna participate in bidding on it, it will be available on Saturday morning. We're just about done. Um, you know, I need to get these things on the front, the dangles, I think. We're gonna put these little metal covers over the corners. I was thinking about using this, but I've changed my mind because we're putting this on there. That's more appropriate, I think, for this whole book. Um, so I wanted that to be known. I'm not going to use that. So we're just going to get started because I have a lot of mailers to do, you guys, today from that big sale. And um, I, I really, once people have made their payments, I've been invoicing all morning and getting payments. And once payments are made, I like to get those things out the door to you. Okay. So here is where she's gonna go. And I think we're gonna place her a little low. I want her hands to show though, because it's really sweet how she has her hands kind of folded over her. And then this is gonna be here. And then we'll get these things on. So pretty special. This one's turning out to be just beautiful. Okay, so we could actually work on this first I so I have I decided instead of um writing 2023 on there I'm gonna leave this blank I'm gonna put a piece of watercolor paper in there we're gonna color it um we'll get out some inks and color this I think and then I'll let whoever grabs this in the auction write whatever they want in there if it's a gift for someone maybe they'll want their first name on there if it's it becomes a travel journal you can put the date on there so I'll let the person who snatches it up decide what goes on there. That way it can be a little bit customizable. So it's just a scrap piece of watercolor paper, but it's all I need because I don't need a very big piece to fit in here, right? So we just need it to be big enough to fit. So we're gonna color this. Actually, I think I'll color it first. It'll be easier to do it as a bigger piece. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Mary. Welcome, welcome, Jennifer. Thanks, Sparky, for fluffing the nest. I appreciate you girls when you do that so much. Guys and girls, if there are any guys out there, but um, I do really appreciate it. It helps us to just kind of get the word out there that we're doing our thing and introduce us to new people. So thank you, thank you to anybody who's helping with that. Okay, um, I want the kind of raised up. Uh oh, that might be just too dark. Let's just see. It's going to pop in there. That way it's just not stark white. Actually, I think it looks great. This way it's not just super bright white against all these other warm colored things. So that's good. Got that done. That was pretty easy, actually. That color that I used of that, um, I think it was an ink, wasn't it? It's um, called frayed burlap. Okay, so I need a little bit of glue, not a ton. And I would like a fine tip applicator, but this is what I got. Thanks for sprinkling, Jennifer. I appreciate you guys so much. I really do. 
Hey Sue, good morning. I see you my friend. What's everybody up to today? It is actually a really beautiful day here. It was yesterday too. It's been rather cool, but um, yesterday and Saturday was actually kind of nice. Ken and I went for a walk on Saturday. I didn't get a walk in yesterday, but we did get a few minutes out on the boat. Not much time because we had, we have work to do and things to do. Hey, where did that little piece go? It's right here. All right, we're going to pop this in here. I just have the tiniest bit of glue. Now we're gluing that in, but then in addition to that, we got to glue this onto the book, right? So this will really, it will stay in place with no problem. But let's just get that in there so I'm not m messing around with it when I'm trying to glue down <laughs> the metal piece to the book. I want to uh, wipe up any oozy glue. We don't like the oozy glue. I think we're in good shape. Okay, that can just sit for a few minutes while we get this one down. By the way, remember I tried the E6000 fabric glue on this. It was just scrap piece of chipboard. The chipboard is what I have under here. And I wanted to make sure that whatever glue I used did not show on the fabric. And you can see the E6000 shows. It. This is completely dry. It's been days. And although it's completely dry, it still shows a mark. So the E6000 is not good for <laughs> light colored fabrics. What I ended up using was my matte gel medium, which you can see it's completely dry, dries completely clear. Can't see it. So FYI, I just wanted you to know that. That was my little tester that we were trying to see what we were going to get with that E6000 glue. Okay. Um, we've got to get her glued down. And I'm debating whether I should darken the edges of this a little bit. I could use the same color that's on there. That would really make it match well if I did that. You're freezing things from your garden. Nice, Jennifer. That's a nice way to get a go, you know, to like be approaching fall with lots of stuff available for canning and freezing. Good for you. Hey, Wendy, how are you, friend? So glad you guys are here. I have my coffee. I saw Chris off to work very early this morning and then the boys off to school. And then away we go with our work day, trying to get as much done as possible before they all return. Okay, there we go. Didn't even have to re-ink that. It was wet enough to just do just fine. Okay, she has to be low enough so that this makes sense up here. Okay, like she's going to be like there, I think. So you could make a mark, a pencil mark. Um, I just like pick a point of reference, like right here. I can see between these two big ovals, if I line her up right there, so I, you know, I could put my pencil down so I know that's the top of where this postcard is going to go. But just give yourself an eyeball of where you might want it. We're just going to use the Art Glitter Glue. It's working real well. This is a really thick postcard, as you can see. So it's not going to wrinkle or make this bend or anything because it's pretty thick and sturdy. Okay, so now here's my marker of where I want her to top, her top, the, the top of it to be. And then I'm just trying to center her well. Now, I think what I'll do is take out like a little flattening tool and I'm going from the outside in because I'm the, the glue is here. I wanna push it in rather than out. You'll get a little bit of oozing glue. If you push and then push out, it pushes all the glue out from under the postcard. And that's not what we want. We want it to stay under the postcard. All right. That's good shape. Yep. Okay. She's on there. Now, this I will use the matte gel medium, but because that stays wet, it does not set right away. We'll do that later. I'm not going to worry about that right this minute. Let's do the corners and we'll do the 
we'll decide if we're doing danglies. Uh, these corner things, they clamp onto your book, but even with that being the case, I do like to add a little glue to make sure it's not gonna go anywhere, but just stick it on and then you, on this side, I've already deep, I pressed this one down already, but you can see, you just press it down onto your book. I do have, it's a jewelry making like plier with a flat rubbery tip on it. And sometimes that's helpful. If you have hand issues, you know, it might help to have something like that handy, but today I'm not feeling too bad. My thumb has really, on this hand, my left hand has been really bugging me lately. I must have injured it somehow. It kind of reminds me when I had carpal tunnel in my um, wrists, it felt that awful. It was the same kind of feeling. So I don't know if it's like all along this joint and that muscle. Not feeling great, I'll tell you what. Okay, making sure no oozing glue, but that alone just really um, makes this so much more special and more durable. These are corner protectors so that if you, like if you're putting this up on a bookshelf or and these corners get knocked, they're not gonna be damaged by a fall on the floor or something like that. So that is kind of special, right? To add those on there and they match really well. Sometimes I only put it on the front, but I think for this book, I'm gonna go front and back with these. Really making this one super special. Hey, Maureen, hi, Tamara. You're loving the cover of this book? Why, thank you, dear. This book is gonna be on Saturday's auction. I'm gonna do an auction at 10 a.m. Central, live here on the page. Have lots of stuff to be sharing, so, um, I hope you guys can join. I, I, I think I'll create an event on Facebook. And when someone creates an event that's connected to their page or their business, and even a personal thing, and so the event's coming up on Saturday and you RSVP on Facebook and say you're interested or yes, that you're going, then Facebook will give you a reminder before that event, you'll get a notification reminder that the event is happening or it's coming up or it's happening today. So, Keep that in mind when you're um, seeing those events. They are very helpful. They serve a purpose and they are very helpful. Okay, I was thinking it would be really nice to put these little things here as danglies. I have a key and like a clock, an old time clock face. And I was thinking they would be really cute right there. So what I was thinking I might do, I have a couple of options. One of them is to put like an eyelet here and punch it through all of that. Now, you guys, I have two layers of fabric. No, three layers of fabric. One, this cover, and then three. So that's two and then three. Three layers of fabric and a layer of this really thick chipboard and a food storage box to get through because that's what this entire layer, there's, there's a lot of layering here to make sure that that spine was in good shape, that it wasn't gonna um, move, or move the book pages around too much, that the book was gonna be really solid and in shape. So I've gotta get whatever it is that I'm gonna put in here, I gotta get it through all those layers. I also have something like this, which is a little, um, loop and it's on a screw so you poke a hole through and then you screw this onto your book wherever you want it and then you can hang things from that if you want to the thing with this one is I don't like the color it's silver and the keys are bronzy so geez I can't get that back on but I was just thinking maybe the wax would help could I wax this and make it more of a gold color? Because I do like that. Or let's just see what else I have for options. I mean, I could just do a brad. But I have other metal embellishment um, options. Let's see. Hey, Ruth. Um... Most of these days I'm live on the public business page, so it's not a group at all. <laughs> Just on, And sometimes I do post that into the, the free craft club. But today, just on the page. Okay, here's another one, guys. Here's another one. I'll show you this, a different option. 
I have a small one and I have a big one. They're the same thing, but I'll show you. A small one with a little loop. So like that could be like a door pull or it could be a thing to hang your danglies from, right? I have a small one and a big one. These are basically the same. But you see these are bronzy. They're already bronzed. So I don't, I wouldn't need to do anything to the coloring of these. So let's do the small one because the spine is kind of small. And this one, we're gonna punch a hole through and then this is like a huge um, brad. You just have these, these big separators. And so those would sit in here. I don't think it would hurt a stinking thing, but they'll sit in there. So we're making our way through. Thank you for being patient. Gotta talk it through, like even for my own benefit so I know what I'm doing. And then we're going to um, get all the right tools out and the right supplies to put this together for you guys. Hey, Christina. Good morning, Andrea. Oh, I don't need to color it, Ruth, this little lovely. I'm going to leave it silver because I already have, like I said, I already have these bronze colored accent metal embellishments that I can use. So the other thing I need to figure out is what string to use. And I think... I'm just going to use my waxed waxed thread and I think I'll just put them on two separate dangles. So then the question becomes um, how low do I hang these? That's all such a matter of preference, I think. Let me just figure I'll get these ready. I'm going to do a couple of knots with this. Jana, thank you for fluffing the nest. I appreciate you today, you guys. I'm coming right into only onto Facebook and only on the business page. I'm not broadcasting this in any groups. I'm not broadcasting it on YouTube right now, which I have been when I use StreamYard. I broadcast to both places live at the same time. Today, this is just for you guys, just for Facebook users. I did post... The schedule for the week, I um, sent it out to the Telegram users. So how many of you got that this morning? How many of you are on Telegram and you got that schedule this morning for the week? I wonder. I haven't posted it here yet. I gave it to the Craft Therapy Club in the membership group and I posted it in the Telegram channel. So I'll be posting it here on the page as well. I just wonder how many of you are on the Telegram channel and saw that. Because if you're not there, you might want to join. Okay, so here's where I have to decide how low. I mean, you could go all the way down with these and let them really dangle low or down below. And then a lot of people will do that. So then they can flip it into the book and use it as a, like a bookmark. But I don't think I would want it that that much. I think I'd hang it like right there. So I'm just, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut off. Uh, like way more than I need here, just so it's easy to work with. Let's get the key ready because I'm super visual. Jennifer got it. Shelly got it. Okay, good. You guys, Janice is on the Telegram channel. Maureen, you got it too. Awesome. Telegram is a free app that you download on your phone and a lot of creatives. You guys tell me in the comments, there are a lot of creatives that use Telegram to stay in touch and do our live announcements. Um, so you get it straight to your phone like a text but it's totally free to use. Um, I actually really like it. I, I wish, my family uses a different app called GroupMe for group texting, and I wish we would move to Telegram because I think we would all, I think everybody, I just think it's easier to use, to be honest with you. Okay, so see, I think I want them maybe like that, but all I'm gonna do is cut enough of this so that when time comes to tie them up, they're ready to be tied. They're gonna get tied onto here together. So those are ready to go. Now we just have to get our hole in our binding. You love Telegram too, Debbie? I do. I love it. It's easy to message individual people. It's easy to message groups. It's easy to like subscribe to a channel like I have. Tamara, she says, it's how I knew you were live. See, Jenna got it on Telegram. Mary, Gina, look at all you girls. Hey, Missy. Joanne's working on Junk Journal 101. Good job, girl. Get it going. Have 
fun with that. It's so much fun. Okay, I don't need a tremendous like big hole. So I try to keep the hole as small as possible because with a bigger hole, when you have anything in that hole, especially if it's too big, the stuff really moves and wiggles around and we don't want things to wiggle around. We want them to stay pretty tight and comfortable. I think, <laughs> I feel like I should put a dot so I know where to put this thing. Oh, wait, wrong place. Am I gonna be able to get down low enough with this tool? You know, I have the long neck tool and I have this one. I need a dot just to feel um, confident in what I'm doing here. Like this right around here. I'm gonna do it up closer to the top. That is the middle as far as I can see. Let's do a double check. Nope. It would be the middle, except this is a little bit bigger than one inch. So I gotta go just to the right of that. So I can see the dot. I've erased most of it. I'm gonna go just to the right of that with my little hole maker here. Jeez, the, the glare and the light on the middle is blinding me just a little bit. And we'll put this guy in. Oh, how cute is that? Okay, now in here, we're just gonna open this up and I want it to be tight. So I wanna, I wanna make this as tight as possible on this side, make sure it's really flush against the, the book. And then we're gonna go like that. Okay, now, that is so cute. This is a little bit long, so we're just gonna twist it because I think it'll be just fine we twist this this way it will bend along with the book there we go and then we're gonna hang our little danglies you got your telegram yay hey and De Debbie Gladden in Florida hello hello friend okay these two let's just loop them through here together so I can get an idea for how low how low do we want these to hang I don't want them super low. I kind of want them up high. Um, okay, this is not working for me. So the way I twisted that brad to make it go sideways, now this is sideways and I don't want it that way. We need to, we need to flip it so that it's this way. And then I'm gonna make an adjustment here. This is a little bit long. It just is sticking out of the book a little bit. I'm gonna get, oops, some wire cutters, if I can find them quick. That was not something I anticipated, so we gotta make an adjustment here. We'll get some wire cutters. Oh, where did I put them, girls? Let's see if I put them in with all the scissors. I do, I've been moving things, <laughs> I've been moving things around on myself, and now it's like, oh, where did I put that thing? Okay, girls, who's got the wire cutters? Where's my concierge when I need them? I'm, I'm gonna just clip that thing down. Wow, I can't seem to put my fingers on them. All right, they're not there, they're not there, they're not there. I'm checking all the places, girls. I've got my pliers, my needle on pliers, but no wire cutters. Well, I can't cut it without my wire cutters. I, oh, I have this heavy duty cutter. This, 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 this would do it. It's just going to be a little more cumbersome. Nope. No wire cutters are needed. All right, well, that'll have to be off, off screen, but I need this, I need this little doodad to be facing the right direction. It can't be facing the way it was. Otherwise, these danglies won't dangle properly. We can't have improper dangles. <laughs> There's no, no, you love that? You love that on the side, Debbie? Isn't it cute? 
just a little tiny dangle. It really adds a lot. I was actually wondering, I was thinking about doing wooden beads, but I think they would be too much. I think it would be too much dangle. I, I would rather keep it kind of simple and demure because there's so much going on with the um, this rope detail, this fancy, I don't know what you call it, trim that someone sent to me. We've got the metal embellishments, we have her, we have the ribbon, and we're gonna have this. So I just wanna keep this over here on the side much smaller and simpler. It doesn't need to be so elaborate, right? And I think about there is good. Maybe. Like that, yeah. If you had stayed just like that, that would be perfection. I know it won't though. You know what I could do to make it stay? That's where I wanna tie it. All right, <laughs> now they won't move around while I'm trying to get these tied. Oh, I do, Maureen says, you so inspire me with your bookmaking and you've learned so much. You're welcome, you're welcome. Thanks to everybody who signed up for the workshop, the Make a Junk Journal Start to Finish workshop. I'm honored, always honored to have your company and I really enjoy hanging out with you guys in those private settings and getting to know you more closely. I'm trying to do both of these at once. I just want to check on the tightness of that. Then we're going to take these and we're going to feed them through. Tweezers would be so helpful at this moment, but I don't have them with me. Well, I mean, I could grab them, but let's just show you how you can do it without. Okay, now this is going to hang here. We can get rid of all this excess. I might just tie this one more time. And then we can get rid of all this excess waxed thread. Um, th Sherry, this is from a kit from My Porch Prints. It's a fairy kit that I bought on Etsy from My Porch Prints. Okay, the dangles are installed. And whoops, let's get this to, I really tied it tight. So it's just like, it's just where it is on this round. I just gonna scoot it so that it's right in the middle. There we go. Okay, last thing to do on this cover. Before I do it, I'm gonna do a quick flip through of this. For those of you who are just seeing this, maybe for the first time, if you haven't seen the progress for it, this book is gonna be in the, um, live auction on Saturday. Uh, I will do a flip through on Saturday during the live auction and show all the bits and pieces, but it is a um, fairy magic journal. It'll finally be finished now. This has got a little journal on the inside. And the pages are sufficiently decorated, um, plus there's lots of tags and little postcards and things that you can journal even more on if you want to. Um, there are some pages that are a little bit interactive because they have, there's a little heart paper clip there because they have all the things that you can play with and pull out and reattach. We've got a couple of little embellishments here that somebody can use that match really well. We've got the fabric or paper snippet rolls this is a tuck spot right here. This one has this little notebook. It has a tag and then it has two other little, there's a stamp and a card here, more embellishments. It's turned out so beautifully. And you know, the thing is I can't keep everything. So I'm really happy when I'm able to let somebody take something like this home and either re-gift it to somebody or use it themselves. Here's where we have that envelope that is full of other goodies that somebody can use in the kit. 
So all I did was we put it in this belly band and then I put the little yellow paper clip there to hold it in place. Not necessary, just an extra added feature. This has some items in it. Oh, it's not a pullout. It's it's glued down on there like a decorative design element. A little tab closure. This has been so fun to put together and it is fun to flip through them. And then we've got a couple of a postcard and a tag here in the back pocket. Plenty of things in this book to keep you busy for a while. Thanks, Missy. She says it turned out beautiful. Why, thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you. All right, there we go. So that's going to be there. And then best glue for anything, particularly metal. It works really well. It works on fabrics. It doesn't show. It's completely matte. Um, it's just easy to use, and I absolutely am confident that it works, and I don't have to worry about anything falling off. So that's what we're going to use on this, and then that will stay blank so that somebody can take a magic marker or a pen and write what they want on there. This glue is especially, it's not a glue, it's actually an art um, supply. It's, you can, it's an acrylic medium. It's made out of the same stuff that acrylic paint is made out of, and you can add it to your paints to thicken up your paints. Um, it is an incredible glue for mixed media artists. So that's how I use it. It always dries clear, but it's really nice because it gets through. Do you see how it has all these holes in it? And that's kind of hard to keep glue in, right? So this is great. It'll go in between the holes, but you, you absolutely cannot see it when it's dry. So we don't have to worry about it um, showing anywhere. Okay, before I smush it down, I want to make sure I like the placement, which I can either place it centered with a postcard or centered on the page. I think I go with the postcard. There. So now I'm going to push it down. It is, you can see, it's oozy, but we want it in between all those metal pieces to hold that down. So all I'm gonna do now is take this clean, well, semi-clean, it's like my glue gathering rag. I'm gonna take this and we're just gonna swipe away on the outside that little bit of excess. You have time, it doesn't set right away, so you have time to move it around if you have to. I'm gonna reach over to just a tish. You technically could leave all that. I just tend to wipe down anything that's not absolutely necessarily or being used to glue it down. Okay, voila. I think this one is done. You guys, how quick and easy was that today? This is, it has not been, this, let me just say, this book has been in the works for months. So it's not that quick and easy in terms of when you see these books for sale on Etsy and they go for $150, it is because of the amount of time and energy, thought and supply that has gone into these books. That is why they sell for that much money on Etsy um, or on like a, an artist's private website. So this will be in my auction on Saturday morning, if you're interested in bidding on it, um, it is done. It's ready to go. Let's just make sure we're straight here. We're going to let everything dry, and then we'll, it'll be available on Sunday. So there you have it. Quick quick live today, and I'm going to go and work on all of these invoices. For those of you who are that shopping that VIP um, Chocotour flash sale in my private group, group for Chocotour. Thank you for shopping. Keep shopping. There still are items left to claim with these huge discounts on um, both new and used items available. And the group is free to belong to. You don't have, you know, you just, it's for non-designers. You can't be a designer and belong to another designer's Chocotour VIP group. It's not allowed by Chocotour. So anyway, if you're not a designer, you're welcome to be in there and shopping. 
there are still things available, but I'm going to finish today. I'm hoping to get all the invoicing done for anybody who has shopped. And I've already started mailing stuff out for those of you who have paid. So thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thanks, Joanne. She's saying she loves the inside pages. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Dorinda. Thanks, Janet. I, I used matte gel medium. Liquitex matte gel medium. My favorite for embellishments that are for books like this. <coughs> Excuse me, really any mixed media project, Laurel. No, I'm definitely still with Chaka Tour. Um, Amanda, I've been ch with Chaka Tour for six years and I have a lot of stuff. So uh, every once in a while in my VIP group, I do a huge de-stash of my supplies and offer it at a really good discount to my VIP customers who are in that group. So if that's just what's happening right now is just trying to share the wealth. I couldn't possibly use all of the number of transfers that I own. Um, plus all the surfaces. There's surfaces, there's pastes, there's transfers. So tools and supplies. It's just you can only use so much. And so I'd rather it be... I'd rather sell it for a huge discount to my VIPs, the customers who are in my VIP club, the private club. It is free to belong to, but it's private, and that's a chalk couture rule. You can't sell things at a discount on a public page. It has to only be in private. So I'm following the rules, and I'm doing that inside my group so um, that I can share the wealth of all the supplies that I have. Yeah, thanks, Jennifer, for being here. All right, girls, have a beautiful, blessed day. Thanks for being here. I will catch you tomorrow. I'll be live again. Um, if you didn't get the schedule in the Telegram channel or in the Craft Therapy Club, I'll be posting the schedule for the week here on the page. I am live pretty much every day at 10 a.m. except Wednesday. I'm taking that day off, but I'll be live Monday through Saturday at 10 a.m. Take care.